Good after morning folks, Mike Wells, your World Explorer. Today is June the 30th, 2022, and we're going to look at the five different controlled groups for fighting these uh, vine borers. Uh, what you're looking at here for the summer squash is we were using a control group uh, with DE, that's diatomaceous earth powder. Here we've been using uh, Gamma Cyhalthrin. Um, it's basically the brand that we use is Spectricide Bug Stop. Here we've been just using the cups and uh, picking off any kind of worms that have been on the leaves. Here we've been using the Elmer's glue with water. And here we've been using uh, soap and water, basically Dawn dish soap. Just a couple of drops of Dawn dish soap per about pint and a half of water. So what you're seeing, what you're witnessing are some pretty extreme differences in the outcomes of you know, the survival rate of these different control groups. So the DE powder over here, right? We've been administering it. It obviously has zero effect on the, the nematodes in the soil, the root knot nematodes. So that's a negative. Um, whether or not it's working for the vine borer, I really can't tell you. So this particular control group is inconclusive. But it looks like a failure if you had to assess it based on what you're observing here today. Now, I can't say it's a failure, but it's definitely inconclusive at this juncture. Now, this control group, the Gamma Cyhalothrin um, Spectricide Bug Stop, is obviously doing the best. Now, I imagine what's going on is the the Gamma Cyhalothrin is keeping the eggs from being able to hatch, whether it be the loopworm, uh, the squash bug, or the vine borer. Now, as far as the root knot nematodes, I'm pretty confident that it doesn't have an effect on them, but I can't be certain, okay? Uh, because the nematodes would be in the soil, but this was uh, lasagna layered, so it has organic material in the soil. That organic material seems to be working to these, the favor of these particular squash plants. So this one is uh, continuing to impress slightly. Now over here are the cups. We can't really definitively say whether or not the cups are working at this time for the, for the vine borer. Uh, we can certainly tell, based on what we're observing here today, that the leaves have been getting eaten by the loopworm. Okay? Uh, now I, w I was away for one week and I've come back and this is what I'm observing. I gave all of these control groups an, uh, a treatment before I left. So it has rained a couple of times since I've been gone. Uh, the only ones I didn't give a treatment were the, was this one because there was no treatment that needed to, to go um, on this control group. So you see the loopworms have really had a little bit of a feast. Same thing over here. I, I think that the Elmer's glue is really not having a positive beneficial impact on these plants because the vine borer behaves similarly to the loopworm in the fact that they eat they eat this. Uh, now the loopworm will eat the leaves and the, the vine borer will bore into the vine. At, at this juncture we don't see any vine borers but we see a lot of loopworm activity so I would almost venture to say that I don't know you know this is relatively inconclusive at this juncture but I don't I don't think I can say that this is working against the vine borer uh, because it's not working against the loopworm so let's go over here <clears throat> this is the dish soap one the dish soap uh, control group Obviously, the dish soap is not working against the, the loopworm. The loopworms have just had a fantastic feast over here. So, um, but the vine borer, I can't definitively say again whether or not it's working against the vine borer. 
at this juncture we can see that they're all still alive kind of but uh, and that they haven't been killed by vine borers but they are definitely suffering from the loopworm so going forward I think what I want to do I can definitively tell you that based on these five control groups the gamma cyhalothrin spectricide bug stop control group this one seems to be having the best results okay let's take a look at one last control group we did the lasagna layering in the soil okay and uh, this is like the old patch that had a severe infestation of the root knot nematodes left for the week came back I've seen some loopworm activity but for the most part these guys are all still chugging along it looks like this one's probably succumbed to the root knot nematode so and then some of these 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 outliers over here are, are quite possibly being uh, harmed by the root knot nematode but those inner ones over there are still chugging along strong what I have done is I've set up some other control groups uh, where we're battling the root knot ne nematodes that's in a separate video that I'll be um, showcasing to you soon but um, for right now we've been we've been increasing uh, our gamma cyhalothrin on this this whole setup and it seems to be helping out with the loopworms and the uh, vine borers so it's keeping both of those away and also definitely the squash bugs folks thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned as I keep you updated on the progress of these control groups um, also check out my other videos you can get to them by uh, clicking on the top right of this video uh, where you can follow the stories behind these squash plants and other stories that are going on uh, on our property as well regarding growing squash thanks for watching have a good day